Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a quick discussion about old primers. We offer some uh, inerts. This is uh, some Israeli 1940, God knows what. Um, and some people in the industry, they sell these with oil primers. And um, what that means is that the rear, instead of looking indented, just looks unindented. And um, the trouble with these old uh, cases, <coughs> especially with Badan, is that the way that it's achieved is by oiling them. And um, the reason we don't uh, sell these as oil primers is because it doesn't really work. Quick bit of background. Now, this is a bullet. That's how it was largely made. We basically rip the head off, get rid of the powder, set the primer off, stick the head back on, and out it goes as a nerd. Everything that can go boom has gone boom. Um, but others do roughly the same thing. They take the head off, they get rid of the powder, they put a bit of oil in, which deactivates the primer, and then they stick the head back on. And the trouble with that is that the primer may have been deactivated. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Let me show you what I mean. This is my dead pile. God almighty, 10 million dead old primers. I've got a little jar with oil in and they go in there and then you know, in theory they kind of like um, expire, but never quite works. So let's, let's see what we have in here. Have a little block. Let's go fishing for something. What have we got? Ah, there we go. We've got a... What are you? What are you? I think that's even shotgun. That's not even rifle. We go rifle. Your rifle. Yeah, that's it. Now have we got one more? Whatever this is. Okay, well, let's see what the result is if we set these guys off. And I don't advocate you do this at home. Well, that one and that one, I would consider that a successful ignition. That one over there did not go. That one actually was deactivated by the oil. Um, the trouble then is that if you do make something like this and you send it to a customer and the customer, he thinks he has something that inert, they might not be. And just for an experiment, I had some old uh, 300 WSM, I think, and they, okay, well, we won't go into the detail, but I needed the primer to be deactivated, but for whatever reason, they were unindented. And so I clamped this thing in and I set it off uh, with a blowtorch like I did now. And that is the indent it made in my metal tin. That's just the primer. That's the power some of these old cases have. And I'm not comfortable sending that out to a customer. Now, what we do offer is uh, on some of the non-Badan primers. We do offer them as uh, inert primers. And what that means is that we take out the fire primer or the life primer that was there and we literally put in, can we get this on camera? Come on, an empty brass cup. And that is so you don't have uh, things like this happening. This is American Sniper and he's driving around in his totally tactical armband. And it's all full of inert, <laughs> full of fire primers. And no, these are not just his cases that he's policing. You can actually see they still have heads on. So, you know, that's a bit embarrassing. So for realistically those inert fire, pri uh, those inerted life looking primers, which never had any explosive in them, are really only for museum, for collectors, photography, film, stuff like that. Because as ever, if you do, for whatever reason, get stopped by the police and they find you with ammunition that looks like it's live, questions will be asked and your details will be taken, etc. And it's just really bad karma until it is truly established that they are fully inert. So that is why we always set off our inerts and that's why we don't oil them. Because oiling, at best it's unreliable. Let's leave it there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye bye from us. Bye.